from Hobart and William Smith Colleges, this is Meet the Campus with John Hebe. This week, we'll go into the office of the Associate Director of the Center for Community Engagement and Service Learning, Katie Flowers. Sit down with Assistant Professor of English, Rob Carson, and visit recent Hobart graduate, Kwame Lavelle. So join me this week and every week for Meet the Campus with me, John Heavey. I don't know how to put this, but I'm kind of a big deal. As the Associate Director of the Center for Community Engagement and Service Learning, from arranging annual days of service to placing students in Jumpstart and America Reads, Katie Flowers facilitates the partnership between the Geneva and Hobart and William Smith communities. Crafts, supplies, games, cutouts, stickers, you name it. Booknet's got it going on. AmeriCorps is often referred to as a domestic Peace Corps. Uh, I served a year with uh, VISTA, which is Volunteer in Service to America, um, in Worcester, Massachusetts. And Peace Corps hat, as you know, President Gearing was the former director of the Peace Corps. We are ranked nationally among us other small colleges with our uh, students enrolling into Peace Corps at a, a high rate. My wonderful view of South Main Street runs right through campus, so we are Geneva and Geneva is us. Our office is responsible for connecting students into the Geneva community and beyond, so if you're interested in getting involved, please come see us. Earning his PhD from the University of Toronto, Assistant Professor of English Rob Carson specializes in Shakespeare and early modern poetry. The English department tends to just have a lot more fun, so I thought, you know, good parties, good food, that's the way to go. I actually did, did an MA in English and an MA in philosophy and I had to make a decision about uh, which one uh, to go on with. I'd just been married at the time and had a talk with my wife uh, and she told me that she liked me a lot better in English than in philosophy because when I was in philosophy uh, I fought and fought and fought all the time. I, I liked the vibe of this place, it seemed really you know, friendly and delightful. I'm from Toronto and so it meant that I could stay pretty close to home. Well, my, my dad's from Rochester and so I, I had family in the area and in fact this year I found out that um, James Carson, one of my distant cousins, married Jane Smith, William Smith's sister, which means that I, you know, I'm, I'm, William Smith is in my family family tree. Uh, and I told President Gearn the other day that I think that, that that means he works for me. A 2010 graduate of Hobart College, Kwame Lavelle played four years of varsity football and worked in the Office of Admissions and Communications during his time here at HWS. Hobart and William Smith, you know, really does a great job in providing for his students. These new stands, this, this, this new field, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm a little bit sour that, that uh, you know, this happened the year after I graduated, but I mean, this just shows, you know, the lengths that the Board of Trustees and the alumni, uh, you know, all that they do for their students. If you come to Hobart and William Smith, definitely go abroad. I happen to go abroad my senior spring to London, England. I have the opportunity to, to do outside traveling to Ireland, to Turkey, to different places across Europe. and. Some of the unique academic opportunities that I had while abroad uh, were having classes at the Victoria and Albert Museum or, or, or going to the Tate Modern and, and sort of supplementing you know, that classroom experience with real life. It was the time of my life. I'm John T.S. Heavey. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you next week for another edition of Meet the Campus.